Well, the woman who claimed she was sexually assaulted by a former Indianapolis Colts player spent this morning on the witness stand and was under fire. This on the second day of the rape trial involving linebacker Josh McNary. We've got our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson who's been watching the trial for us. Steve joins us live this afternoon from the city county building. Steve. Yeah, Scott, the attorneys for Josh McNary are trying to tear apart uh, this victim's account of what happened between her and Josh McNary in his apartment here downtown. They have spent the morning basically assassinating her character in front of a jury made up of mostly women. McNary is on trial for rape, criminal confinement, and battery. He has his family in court supporting him along with a team of attorneys trying this case. The victim says after they met at a downtown Indianapolis bar on December 1st. They spent the evening dancing, drinking, and flirting with each other. She says after McNary, who she did not know at the time was a coast player, invited her back to his loft apartment to see the city skyline view, he sexually assaulted her. Now, he denies forcing himself on her and insists she consented to having sex with him and then left her his apartment after he became angry because of the scratches she gave him during their encounter. Now, detectives identified McNary and the location based on Snapchat photographs she sent while inside his apartments. Scott, both sides will call expert witnesses to uh, testify about the injuries she received during this encounter. Counter. Now, McNary's pro football career obviously is on hold for now, and if convicted, could be finished altogether. Now, as the judge takes breaks in this case, we will get you up to date on WTHR.com and on social media. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, we'll be following your developments today, Steve. So, thanks so much.